hundred years ago. Uh, and that's Tom Hennessy from the Lair Reeves at the monument. That's on behalf of the Tripari IRA people. Tom now is going to do a small poem as well. Uh, first of all, I'd like to tribute to the locality here uh, that so many people have turned out and short notice. We, we, Matty and myself and a few more lads there uh, we just decided to. to uh, do something. We were here Thursday night and we made a, a reason and then we said it would be nice to do something on the actual day but, but everyone here, fair play, and you probably all have had relatives involved and whatever so it's a great tribute. Um, we know that he was shot from the free state and we're here and he was shot going up the Boreen and there could have been possibly someone around the field there but um, again uh, they have 20 years of age and um, I suppose those lads uh, took up uh, arms to fight for pursuing freedom. Uh, we should never forget them. And by your coming here today, every one of you, uh, Seamus' name will live forever. Oh, speak their name. Oh, speak of them in tender tones and drop a tender tear for those who left their happy homes without a thought of fear. For those who fought our land to free. Yes, those who fought and bled, or speak their name in tender tones to mark their Irish dead. Yes, sing their praises night and day, and keep their memories green. No braver, nobler men than these the world has ever seen. They gave their lives to save our land, in history right and red. Or speak their names in tender tone to mark their Irish dead. That's uh, a poem written by a man called Ben O'Hickey, who was involved in the movement as well. And that, that's a very old poem that's dating back to just after the Civil War. I'm just going to say a few words about Jimmy Hayes. As much as I know, if anybody has any more information, I you're very welcome to pass it on. That was on in person. There's a flag, we the flag is part of the home. We have it here. That's our uh, house, that's our home house. Yeah. Yeah, I know that, yeah. Brilliant, well done. Well done, well done. Do you want to place it on top of the, the headstone? Well done. 19, 1915 is the date of the fight. That's very good. Great stuff. Well done, Dixie. Matty, do you want to stand in there beside the monument and everyone can, can push forward then maybe and they can yeah. Let's push in around here in as close as you can, so off the road as well. in off the road lads, just take your time till everyone's in place. a few words on behalf of Jimmy. Jimmy, Seamus Hayes is on stone here, but he was always called Jimmy. And this is the hundredth anniversary of his death. His birth search, he was called James Paul Hayes. And he was born on the 25th of June 1902 to William Hayes and Mary DeWire at Grange Barry near Cold Barn Cross. He had five siblings, Mary, Willem, Sean, Pat and Pierce. I got that from the census records. Jimmy was a member of the 7th Battalion, 3rd Brigade, Old IRA and made less for some of his siblings. He would have been involved in the Grey Ghost ambush, which we commemorated there lately as well. All those my death fellows were involved in that. Jimmy lost his life while fighting for Irish freedom. The British Empire was one of the most powerful in the world. 
and it took great courage to fight against them. But the IRA forced them to negotiate a truce on the 11th of July 1921. This brought some relief to the people of Ireland and led to the signing of the treaty on the 6th of the 12th, 21. The big problem was that the British only gave us a flawed independence. It wasn't independence, it was a flawed independence. This led to a civil war in Ireland that was one of the darkest periods in, our, in Irish history where communities and families were divided. There was no one to blame for the atrocities that took place during the civil war, only the British. They are the ones that invaded us. It's a bit like Ukraine at the moment, where the Russians are. They are responsible for horrible acts of violence against the people of Ukraine. It's hard to believe that Irish people murdered and executed their own flesh and blood. But it happened, and we are still not free of British rule in our country. Now to remember Jimmy Hayes. Jimmy and some of his comrades had escaped from Kilkenny prison and made their way back to my bless. They were staying in two safe houses here, one on that side of the road and one on this side of the road. They were then known as Scullies. But, yeah, Scullies is the same as Jacob's, but... Um, uh, and your grade, yeah. Was, was a, Repo a Republican, yeah. Yeah. yeah, Republican and New Grady, and yeah. the other was Phillips's, which is now Grubbs. And very near where we're standing now, um, as I said, on either side of the road, they got word that the state troopers were arriving. Jimmy Hayes volunteered to run from that house to the house up here to warn his comrades. He was most likely unarmed as he was only running across the road and up the avenue. The Free State troops had arrived at the cross and spotted Jimmy running up the avenue. You can see clearly from where we are here that he'd have his back turned to him more than likely running up the avenue. However, they decided to mow him down with machine gun fire and he was fatally wounded. It was an atrocity. He was only 20 years old. It's hard to comprehend how such brutality could be inflicted by one Irishman on another. Jimmy's body was brought to Savage's house just over here, and then he was brought on horse and cart up back up to Grange Barry where he was waked. And we discovered lately through Paddy Tyne and Patsy, he's actually buried in the graveyard in Midlass. <laughs> and we'll be going there shortly, down to the grave. Uh, Jimmy sacrificed his life for the cause of Irish freedom and it took to Hugh County, Ireland as per our proclamation. It's only right and proper that we honour him today on the 100th anniversary of his death. Our yes, Shea, go on him. Just on a lighter note, Jimmy's brother, Sean Hayes, went on to be a TD and a Senator. And his grandnephew, Liam Hayes, won two all Ireland with me and, and an odds there. So, if anybody's any further information on the family or on Jimmy, um, I can't we know out of the six siblings, there's only three children and they were Persis. So, I want these stories, yeah. Not ever brought up, but all these stories. So, I'd like to thank a few people now as well. Tom Hennessy, the Trojan work, helping me to get this organised. Pat and Willie O'Donnell were here on Thursday to lay a read. Michael Maroney is here, we want to get Michael to say a few words down in the graveyard. Uh, the Fuller Party, Anthony, TJ and Jackie, and all the rest of the people who stood in and carried the flags. Ty Ryan, the Piper, singers Cardi, Liam and the kids as well. Um, so when we're... The, the lads are going to play something here. The lads are going to play. So when the music is finished, um, yeah. We went to Bert over to where his body was resting. Try to lead us over to the house over there. <coughs> and then when we're finished all that, we'll go to the graveyard by left. Thanks very much. Hello, Matthew. Hello. Hello, Matthew. Pa party, do you, want, do you want to come in beside the...
いたんですよ。はい、はい。Sorry, Mike. Long time. 